The letter D stands for delegate. Before you do anything, you should ask if there is someone else to whom you can delegate this task to free up more time for the most important tasks that only you can do. And finally, the letter E stands for eliminate. There are many little tasks that creep onto your daily list that you can eliminate altogether and it would make no difference at all to you or anyone else. The rule is that you can only get control over your time to the degree to which you stop doing things of low or no value. The more things you stop doing or eliminate altogether, the more time you will have to work on your A tasks, the tasks that determine your success or failure at work. Re-engineer your work. The process of re-engineering applied to your personal work can be very helpful to you in setting better priorities. The central focus of re-engineering is simplification. You must continually look for ways to accomplish a complex task or busy job by simplifying the process of work on the task from beginning to completion. In re-engineering your work, you continually look for ways to delegate, defer, downsize, outsource, or eliminate tasks. In delegating, you look for someone else who can do the job at least as well as you, but at a lower hourly rate than you earn. In deferring the task, you look for ways to put off parts of the task that do not have to be done immediately. In downsizing, you look for ways to reduce the size or complexity of the task. In outsourcing, you look for individuals or outside organizations that specialize in doing this particular task and you turn over complete parts of the task to them. In eliminating, you look for ways to discontinue the task altogether, especially if it is no longer important in the current situation. The decision to continually look for opportunities to outsource, delegate, and get things done by other people frees you up for the things that only you can do. It is a critical part of setting and achieving your top priority tasks. Set personal priorities. Your main goal at work and the key to self-esteem, self-respect, and personal pride is for you to increasingly develop your personal and corporate effectiveness. The more effective, efficient, and productive you are, the better you feel, and the more successful you will be. This is a central focus of time power. To set better personal priorities, regularly ask yourself questions such as 1. What are my unique strengths and abilities? Two. What are my natural talents? 3. What do I do especially well? 4. What have I done well in the past? What skills, abilities, and accomplishments account for most of my success in life and work up until now? 5. What are the things that I do quickly and well that seem to be difficult for other people? 6. Where do I have the ability to become outstanding if I were to upgrade my knowledge and skills. And number seven, what do I really love to do? Most of your results in life come from your ability to perform well in a few limited areas. One of the characteristics of leaders is that they only choose positions and accept jobs and responsibilities where they know they have the ability to do the job in an excellent manner. They refuse to do things that they don't enjoy or that they do not do particularly well. Where do you perform well? Think through your past life, your past successes, your past jobs and occupations, and identify what it is that you do well. Determining those things that you perform or could perform in a superior fashion is one of the keys to channeling your life, your work, and your energies into areas where you can really make a difference for yourself and your company. To be successful at any job or profession, you must develop a series of core competencies or skills that enable you to do your job well. But to rise to the top of your field, you must become outstanding in at least one area. In this sense, the good is the enemy of the excellent. Many people become good at what they do. They then become complacent and stop growing. They compare themselves with people who are not as good as they are, rather than focusing on what they are truly capable of. Look for ways to add value. The reason for every job and the role of every person is to add value. The primary reason that you are on the payroll is to contribute value of some kind to your company. This value is then combined with the value that others contribute 
into the product or service that is sold to the customer or client. Your ability to contribute value determines your results, your rewards, and your success in your career. So ask yourself, of all the things I do, where and how do I contribute the most value to my company? If you analyze your work carefully, you will find that there are usually only three things you do that are responsible for 90% or more of the value that you contribute. To determine your three strongest skill areas, begin with this question. If I could only do one thing all day long, what one activity contributes the greatest value to my business? Once you've determined the answer to that question, you then ask, if I could only do one more thing, what would it be? You then ask the question one more time until you come to the third major activity. The whole purpose of organizing your life and setting priorities is so that you can spend more time on these three tasks. You will contribute more and be of greater value to your company if you complete these tasks and if you do an excellent job on each one of them than anything else you could do put together. What are they? The Secret of Success Some years ago, I met one of the top insurance salesmen in the world. He sold more than $100 million of life insurance each year. He had a staff of 42 people. These people handle every single aspect of his business from scheduling through to proposal preparation, administrative tasks, banking, advertising, promotion, and client service. He focused on the one thing.